I was wondering if you guys have a set of brake pads for a uh, 1984 Chevy uh, C10. Perfect, so you guys got plenty. Awesome, alright, I'll just come in and I'll, I'll decide there then, I guess. Cool, man, I appreciate it, thank you. Oh, looks like uh, Chevy parts are in abundance around here. Uh, buying BMW stuff, you can almost never find what you need in stock anywhere. If it is in stock, it's like across the state and you gotta wait to get it. But I guess my truck can get some brake pads because I got no pads left. So, what's going on everybody? Uh, I figured I'd make a little bit of a different video here. More of like a day in the life, uh, week in the life sort of video. Just because I got literally one comment saying, oh I like your content, you're entertaining. It'd be cool if you had like a daily channel and I was like, well... I don't even have enough time for my main channel, so I'm not going to make a new channel. But I figured why not try out a different style of video where I'm not actually working on a certain project. I'm just kind of doing a bunch of random stuff. So that's why then you guys are sitting here with me in my driveway. Just finished cutting grass. Everyone always asks what I do for a living. I don't really do anything for a living. I cut my neighbor's lawns for some money. I sell some parts for money. Sell cars for money. You know, whatever I can do, really. So i just been cutting grass the past couple days. But I got the... Uh, you know, the C10 there, I just picked up, if you guys saw my most recent video. We got to, uh, we got to do some pads on that and get some spark plugs. Alright, so we got some pads, and we got some spark plugs, which was like 85 bucks for all this stuff, which seems like a waste, but, uh, this doesn't sound like four. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's on the bottom. Alright, we're good. So, I'm going to go ahead and rail out these, uh, brake pads really quick. Should be easy enough on this truck, and drop my phone. And uh, that's all we're doing today. It's a chill day. So I'm going to do those. Probably not going to get too into it because we're not, this isn't a working on a, she a Chevy pickup truck page. And then tomorrow I think we're doing some 6 Series stuff and should be shooting my E46 with Kyle. So then I will hit you guys tomorrow. What do you do? Oh man, focus no good. Look at this guy getting me up early. What's up, man? So, Saturday. I'm trying to do a, uh, I'm trying to film a different video and I don't know if I'll post anything of like more day to day things. Try so to, yesterday, try, try to, try to push yourself, I'm trying to push myself a little bit. So, t oh, I walked through spider webs. Uh, so today we're filming some stuff on the E46. So I gotta pull this, this out the third day. and I'm blocked out. Huh? This is the third day. Third day of filming for that car? Yeah. Yeah, we've, it's, this has been a long time coming this video. So we're gonna hopefully get used to this here and get right. some, uh, get some rollers of it and stuff and and then I'm gonna go back to bed because it's too early for me for a Saturday and then uh, yeah so I'll update you guys as we're doing this maybe get some shots and then we'll continue on with the next event <laughs> time to get some rollers he's very dedicated to his craft so this is behind the scenes guys of what what it takes to film these cool car videos that you can see on Kyle's channel so yeah, I'm gonna put my camera down because I gotta focus on following the right distance. I kinda wish I had more of the juice in the shot. Some nice scenery. <laughs> Got Kyle on the phone here. We're getting really professional with this. So. All right, so here's what's gonna happen is, you're gonna roll back, you're gonna do a burnout. You're gonna hop the curve, you're gonna end up in the lake. <laughs> that is not happening. <laughs> oh. I'll have you roll back so I can get a shot of you rolling into the spot. Rolling in, okay. And then you'll just shut it off and then hop out and then walk to the front of the car. And then jump jump in the lake. Oh man, you almost <laughs> broke your ankle. Just Jeez, crack dude. my foot on that. He was just saying I should drive into that too. Maybe you should drive into it. Get in the car. Be, be in the car all of a sudden. for a treat right now. I just found M3 name is meth out here and uh, you're not gonna believe the natural state of just what's what's going on here. You're not gonna believe this. You better click the link in the bio and all the things because this is the real uncut M3 names Jeff, Jeff meth. <laughs> We've been thinking about making me a Finsta account called meth truck and just like 
stupid content. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. Like a Finsta, like a lot of garbage related content that I don't want to post anywhere else. So maybe, let us know. And this is a real uncut um, first impression. Yam Media reacts to meth truck. <laughs> I gotta unlock the door manually. Let's see. Let's see what hey, happens Just ignore the, the empty PBR cans and spark plugs all over the floor. Look, we, we literally have spark plugs. Just all right, first take. AC Delco spark plugs, the cheap stuff. The cheap good stuff. So this door is intact. Everything's yeah, here. It doesn't close very good. Does this window work? Yeah. It's really hard. You're gonna have to. Okay. Oh my God! Look at the look at the grasshopper on the the frame. Oh my goodness. All right, cold start. Let's see. Listen to this belt. All right, let's hear it. Dude, this belt squeals like bad, like bad, bad. Wait, gotta pump it. All right. Oh, hold on. I got my ring stuck in there. How? What? Oh, it doesn't squeal for long. No, no, it's just cold start. Um, so you'll notice this thing's idling like really high. Oh, yeah, you so gotta push that and then not oh, pull okay. okay. from the frame. Yeah, it's all it's all goofed up. Thank you, Paul Beverly, for slamming my door and ruining it. So I gotta fix that now. But yes, yeah, so this thing actually, unlike the Bel Air, which was 20 years in advance, it's still carved, but it's called like. A, I can't think of the name. Whatever, like a carb that basically like knows when the truck's cold, so it'll rub itself up like a cold start in a modern car. The carb actually does that. I cannot remember what it's called, but yeah. So I gotta start building the air pressure now. So look, look how quick that is. Wait, what just happened? That was in gear. What do you mean? What What, what was this? Oh, it no, just no. folds down out of the way. No, it's broken. Oh, it's broke. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, so what's look happening? Look how quickly this thing fills up air. Jeez. Yeah, it's a 30 gallon tank too. What was it at earlier? Oh, it was just, I just started this at like 60. Oh, dang. It's already gone up like 60 PSI. And like, if you rev it, like... like Tur it, turbo it, time. It, it moves, dude. The only thing is, the high pressure switch is broken, so it will not shut off. So like, you need that on to hit the switches, but you can't uh, leave it on because you'll overfill it. Is there somewhere to put the buckle or? Oh, I don't, I don't use okay. this belt. I saw it was here, so I figured I'd test that it out. Right off the bat, I, I just, don't. I mean, seatbelts there, buckle's not. Truck so. guys never wear seatbelts, and I never understood that until you realize that they're so like tucked and hidden, you forget it's there. But, all right, so we're up a little bit, so. Eat. Ride this thing. Oh, you're just gonna time it? They basically just feel it out. Oh, that's on the ground. So before we do the full hops, I'm gonna get to our destination. Where do you wanna eat? I don't know, you said Chick-fil-A. Yeah, you still down for that? Yeah, I don't care. That's cool, cool. Or would you rather something else? I can't think of anything else, so. All right, that's cool. We've been up pretty early today, so. Yeah, my brain's not good. No good. I feel like everything's just loose, like. Oh, I'll show you it's gonna be loose. Wreck, you're, you're wreck, 34 wreck the Ar the, another Arctic one in that spot. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first wrecked Arctic E34 in that spot. I don't think she was feeling that at all. <laughs> it's 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 borderline horrifying at the same time. <laughs> Like, no, you've never seen that before. No. It's so ridiculous. I think this might be scarier than the uh, E34 Vert. Somehow. <laughs> what did e make say? Um, he, said, he said, no, this thing actually seems dangerous. <laughs> he said, listen, like, I've been in all your crap, all your shit boxes, but like, this thing actually seems too far. And I'm like, <laughs> But then I learned how to seesaw it, and he was like, yeah, this thing's badass. I'm like, there you go. There you go. <laughs> right, so I'm taking it easy, because I, I want to like dump the subframe and like, just do a screeching halt. He chucked, he chucked the end. That guy's looking at us awfully dirty for driving this yellow, yellow Chevy Tracker. The car yellow. Tracker. I hit the pancake. And the <laughs> oh god. Apparently we got like a flat tire. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
media right. reacts to uh, M3 name is Matt. I'm getting good with the switches. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's too early for this. It makes it even better. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's even better when you're just hitting the subframe on the ground. It's like it's beating it. <laughs> I mean, dude, I, I just don't know what I was yeah. thinking if that wasn't me. You know, <laughs> like what the hell? Oh, is that that was good, right? That was good. Is that not the most belligerent thing I've ever? I I can't think of anything further than this. Well, it couldn't be a week in the life video if I didn't feature some car washing in it because between all these cars, I always gotta wash something. So today. We're gonna be washing the E36 because if you guys will notice, this thing looks like it's been through a war zone. It is absolutely disgusting. That's the thing about like yellow is it gets kind of dust kicked up on it from driving and you can kind of see in the paint, like that's a mark right there from like my hand. Uh, the dust looks really dark on the, you know, the light color. And then when you hit it with water, it's like I accidentally sprayed it with a hose. It really makes it look disgusting. So this thing needs a wash. I'm gonna give this a wash, give that a wash, cause that thing's also filthy. Got the Calypso here. She's not quite dirty enough, so we're not gonna wash it. But we're gonna end this video here. I'll admit this is weeks after I started filming those initial clips. I kinda just haven't been up to anything interesting. I've been really busy. So I just wanna give you guys a nice ender, time lapse of me washing the car. It's a little satisfying. Plus everyone wants E36 stuff. And I don't know what to do with this car content wise. So you guys are just gonna have to see me washing it. But anyway, we'll end it there. I will say my goodbyes now. Enjoy some washing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.